Okay, so Sivo is now in um, on, and Counter Strike is now loaded up again. Don't forget to start Sivo and then Counter Strike. Um, and now I'm gonna go into Sivo and find a server to join. So again, go to Pugs Server Browser, find the server you want to join, and click Join Server. And a good thing is you can see the people in the game actually before you join the game. So if you see a hacker and you know him as a hacker, you just know not to join that game. And see right here, my game's loading up, it's on cache, and it's initializing. So we'll go through what happens once you get in the game and, you know, the procedure of actually starting the game. Because this is a little bit different than ESEA or Face It. The process in which the game starts is a little bit different. So, it's in windowed vision, so of course it's going to take a second to load. And we're in the game because it says retrieving game data. So sometimes you'll see it'll you'll get a message that says server is full and that just means you know people join before you but you know that's rare so I'm in the game you can pick your own team and of course you can play with other people you can add people on Sevo to play with and all of the good stuff so in the game and once you're in a game you're gonna see on your name tag that it says not ready so it says not ready right here and you're gonna want to go and type in the chat dot ready and as you'll see in the chat right there it says intros is now ready and that's when you uh or that's how the game starts so when all 10 players join when this says you can see behind the scoreboard it says you are ready seven out of seven players are ready but when all ten players are joining the game and everybody's ready and everybody has done what i've just uh, showed you uh the game will start and you'll actually play the game so i'm gonna go ahead and back out of the server before it starts and that's how Steve works so if you have any questions um actually before we go i'll show you this too so when I was in the game, it says it keeps the um, game server open to you in Sivo so that if you get it disconnected, as like I just did, I just exited the game, I can go back to Sivo and click join server again. So that's another good thing. Um, and it'll also tell you the server that you were in. So that's another good thing about Sivo. And that's how Sivo works. That's how you start a game. That's everything about Sivo. Um, they also have, you know, uh, their own theater, just like Plays TV on Face It, where you can record your own games and people can watch uh, your games. So you can do that. You can go see your matches. You go to your name over here. You can actually go to my stats, um, and it'll pull it up on Sivo.com, and it keeps all your stats in here. So it's another good thing about Sivo. Again, you can make a profile on the website. Uh, there's tons of different stuff that you can go through and do uh, as far as customizing your own profile. And you can add friends on the side here. Uh, you can message people in the bottom here to find people to queue with. They also have 10-man uh, tournaments. They have scrims. So if you have a team of five, you can go in here and scrim. So you can see this team right here. Um, they have a scrim set up for either Mirage or Cash on either De a Denver or Chicago server. I can go ahead and challenge this team, but I don't have a five-man team right now, so I can't do that. But if I did, did have a five-man team, I could go ahead and challenge them, select a map, and send that challenge and see if they accepted it. So that's another good thing about Sivo. Uh, again, it's a great client. It's free, which is, you know, amazing. Uh, I mean, besides the fact that uh, there might be a few people that cheat, but in every every client, every server on CSGO, 
you're going to have people who exploit the system. So for it being free, for you being able to set up your own profile, to do all of this stuff for free, it's pretty much the best website for Counter-Strike when it comes to competitive uh, for people who, again, aren't, you know, is well versed on the game as people who are, you know, LEM and Supremes and Globals that play ESEA. So this is good for uh, Silvers and Gold Novas to play. And it's a good server. It has good uh, 128 tick servers. And if you have any issues uh, with any of this, just leave me a message in the comment section or you can just uh, send me a message to my email, which is on my about my profile. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video and I will see you next time.